New medical technology is improving outcomes for patients in three Australian states and surgeons are now calling for its widespread introduction. They say the 3D imaging machines make surgery safer and more precise and they're in use in New South Wales, Queensland and Western Australia. And joining me now in the studio is Dr Ralph Mobbs. He's a spinal and neurological surgeon at Prince of Wales Private Hospital in Sydney. Dr Mobbs, welcome. Thank you. Firstly, how does this technology work? Tell me about it. The, the technology is uh, a miniaturised version of a CAT scan machine that can be used during an operation so that the surgeon has access to real-time, high-quality images uh, while they're doing the operation to therefore make the operation uh, more accurate, more safe and uh, obviously with a, with, uh, with, a, with a better outcome for the patient. So how is it changing surgery? What kind of technology was used before we had these 3D yeah. machines? Well, you would be reliant on imaging taken prior to the operation uh, and using that imaging to perform your, your procedure, whereas now if uh, you are able to obtain imaging during the actual operation itself, then you have real-time access to, uh, to what's going on there and then. So what kind of a difference does that mean for patients? The, the, uh, well, firstly, the operations are usually less invasive, mm -hmm. uh, they're more accurate and therefore safer. Uh, the length of time in hospital is reduced and at the end of the day it's all about patients and patient outcomes and uh, this technology will certainly improve all of those facets of the, uh, of the patient's uh, care uh, with, uh, with, with benefit to the patient. Why you say it's less invasive for patients? Yeah. Why is that when we're, when we're only just talking about a new way, I assume, of, of, looking, sure. of looking at the patients sure. insides? Yeah. The, uh, during the operation, you can be very accurate with, the, with, the, uh, with say, the decompression of nerves or the placement of, of fixation pins to try and stabilise the spine. And with that improved accuracy, uh, that translates into smaller cuts, uh, smaller incisions and less, and, and, uh, and less invasive surgery. So it, uh, it all adds up to smaller cuts, shorter time in hospital and, uh, and better outcomes for the patient. Would you go so far as to say it could save lives? The, if it reduces the complications associated with surgery, absolutely, right. definitely. Yeah. Or at least more people walking, you know, positive um, outcomes from spinal surgery. Yeah. 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 All right. Are there any risks associated with the machine? Uh, the, uh, not really. The, the, the operation does, uh, the, the machine does involve the use of x-rays. However, uh, by far the benefits of using the machine would result in less imaging that the patient requires after the surgery. So probably there would be uh, less overall radiation exposure for the patient in the long term. Okay. Why is it only available in three states at the moment? It's new technology. The uptake of any new technology takes time. However, uh, I strongly believe that in five or ten years' time this will be the standard of care for hospitals uh, that provide complex uh, spinal surgery. I imagine funding would be a pretty big issue as well. As with any technology, <laughs> uh, funding is certainly an issue and this is no exception. But, uh, but the, in the short term, it will be more expensive for the hospitals to provide this technology. But in the long term, patients will benefit. And with uh, improved patient outcomes, then I'm sure that mm. the technology will become more, uh, uh, far more widely available. And are you seeking any kind of government assistance in regard to getting this kind of technology into more hospitals? Or? Well, the, the hospital that I work at, Prince of Wales Private, has, uh, has taken a, uh, a significant... Uh, uh, well, they've, they've, uh, they've decided to in invest in this exciting new technology uh, and to make it available for surgeons so that those surgeons can use it on patients for, for, for better outcomes. So, uh, so it's more of a, of a hospital-by-hospital hospital basis. Yes. Uh, and uh, I was... Uh, and myself and Prince Wales Private were paramount in, in getting the ball rolling at, uh, at our hospital to, to make it available. All right. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you so much for coming in and, uh, well, and giving us a little insight into...